a little bit of a different video. I've got a standard spinner here that I got ages ago to use like a toy washing machine. I see a lot of people do this who have standard spinners. And so I thought I'd join in with the fun. And you're watching Florence Ballard A3060 on film. Okay, so many know what a salad spinner is. You normally put your salad greens inside after washing them, and then you turn the handle on top, give it a spin, and all the water comes out here. It's essentially a spin dryer for your salads. However, you can actually use some of these in the larger ones as a washing machine or a spin, spin dryer. So as I was, when I was little, about 11 years old, I had one that I bought from a Robert Dyer store and used it as a washing machine. So I bought this one from Sainsbury's. It's about six pounds, but well, when, it, when I brought it, it's probably more expensive now. And I thought I'd join in the fun with it. I'd like to get an electric one eventually, but yeah. So what I've got here is a load of some face masks that I've just had in storage. Um, I thought I'd just give them a bit of a play with and wash them. So... I've got this one here, look, and a belly O one. Duran Duran, custom made Duran Duran one. Just one of those old sort of disposable ones and an old tempting one that I had made. I do have a circle line one somewhere, but I have no idea where I've put it. So for my detergent is gonna be, but I'm not actually gonna put them in right now. I'm gonna use like a twin top. I'm gonna put in some of this um, Tesco orange blossom and pomegranate gel because I never actually use gel. So what I just do, is I'll put it in the base, just a little bit like that. And then I've got three jugs of hot water to add. And a bit like how they would tell you to do with the traditional twin tubs, I'm gonna dissolve the water and detergent first. Got some tap hot water, or fill from iron jugs. What this will allow, it'll allow the detergent to mix in, as you can see here. And let's give that a spin, back and forth. You can see the water being spun around. So I like to alternate it back, forth. And what I sometimes do is do this. So that's just using the veins on the, on the basket, just to agitate that in. It's on an old ironing board, well, it's on my ironing board, so it's a bit rickety. And as you can see, mixed in rather nicely. Oh, it smells nice, that stuff. Right, time to drop the face masks in. So that's what you, you do with the twin top, is that the wash action, washing all the, mixing all the detergent first. So it's that guy like that. Use, use the end of a coat hanger just to Push them all down, get them all nice and soaked in. <coughs> More water can be added if needs be. I think we should be okay with that. And then I do the rinses at a different level, higher. Put that on, and away we go. Spin it through, it's a bit like a top loading washing machine. With a pulsator. If you spin it too fast, that water will come over the top. I'll just keep it at a nice steady speed like that. A bit of back and forth agitation. nicely in there obviously it won't wash it completely like a washing machine but it will do a, they're not dirty masks anyway because they ain't been used in like months or four years again like that normally i'd probably wash these in like my toy washing machines and you get the idea Okay, so when you use a salad spinner, when you turn the handle, there's a little mechanism, like a cog in here. 
I'm going to probably take this off sometimes. And this one you probably can't. Right, well, you can with a bit of force. There's a little cog here, and when you spin it, that's what it does. It's like the pulley on a washing machine. Now these little bits, they go into the grooves between the basket, and that's what spins it as it goes around. So essentially if I do that, I spin it fast. Let's see that. I'll probably see some water coming off that. That's essentially what it does. I'll go, go out with a bit more. If, if any of you guys have a sandal spinner and like to do the same thing, leave a comment below. And if you've done any videos, I'll check it out. I remember washing machine guy, Charlie's done the same thing. But there are people in America who use the giant size, they're like orange ones with a big like, crank handle on the top, and they use them. Uh, for actually washing and drying clothes with. So, um, essentially there is a portable washing machine, it's like a blue one, and it is essentially a giant sandal spinner. With a, I th who, who's demonstrated one? Did Ibasiak do that, I think? So I'd like to just... Okay. So time for the spin, an intermediate spin. I've got a bowl on the floor to empty the water in, so I don't have to keep running to the bathroom to do it. So what I do for a spin is I do it in little bursts. There you go, it's the water coming out. Take that out. Best thing about this is you can remove the basket, and there's your water in there. So that's essentially what it does for your salad. Sit that back in. Go for a faster burst. I always do anti-clockwise because that's my preferred direction to spin in. It's easier. A little bit shaky. A bit faster. I'll remove the... Uh... That's it. As you take it out, it'll be easier to... Now, what I like to do... It is loaded like a top loader, but because the load is lighter, I like to turn it sideways like this, and then turn it, so I don't know if you can see it actually tumbling in there. Get things loosened up, and redistributed. I like to distribute like a Maloney. See, tumble, and then back the other way. But I keep it tilted, so say like as a new CIZ, to stop the load of clothes getting caught up in the mechanism. And that's it, I found a nice balance there. So I can go clockwise. And that's my sort of intermediate spin speed. It's about 600 RPM. So the suds lock. quite fun as a, <laughs> as a kid I, I had hours of fun with this when I didn't want to use any toy washing machines or so um, it was often a fun thing to do so yeah let me try and put that light in there there we go a bit more better you can see what's going on now switch the main light off bit dark outside as you can see it's a bit, a bit of a storm coming so that's the intermediate spin done I probably like to go for about two rinses so tumble after the spin a bit like a hot point like the cassette I used to do just to loosen everything up right time for a rinse so for the rinse I'll add this first. I'll float it actually, we'll soak all the, the load like that. For the first rinse, it'll probably be the same rinse level as the as the wash, and then the final rinse will be a little bit deeper. Right. That on and spin. I'll, I'll probably make some videos of doing some other stuff in this. <laughs> Maybe socks or something. Dorian, this would be perfect for your little unmentionables. And other things you might want to wash in there. 
not gonna say anything. Keep it family, well, not family friendly, but you know. I like doing that instant reverse. It reminds me of the sort of portable uh, top loads you get. So it doesn't really, it's not too brisk at agitating, and that's why I don't like to make the water level too, too high. That's it. So what I can do is take the water, remove the load from the basket, and then just I'll be careful not to kick the bucket. All right, bit of a tumble. In my world, I have no balance sensor, so I'll spin whatever. That water is definitely a bit more clearer than it was before. Which is a good sign. It's just more annoying that the load is not evenly, not much even weight. Is that unbalanced? Is it? Should we see? God, I can have hours of fun doing this. Because this is the second intermediate spin to me, we'll go a little bit faster. And I'll do the final rinse. No conditioner with these ones for today, I don't think. Bit of a tumble. Uh, you, can probably, uh, you can see it tumbling in there. I think we might have a bit of a balance, that's really. So you can spin saddle spinners up to the fastest speed. Look at the way That's probably about 800 RPM or something. Way! Thanks flying over the top. It's all stuck to the side though, with uh, quite a bit of water come out of that. It'll end to retangle and then into the final rinse. I'll do it like that and you can see it. That's enough to distribute it and then. Final rinse. Alright, we're doing the final rinse and now because. Actually, quite dry they are. Because uh, this is uh, without conditioner, I've made everything slightly more shallower, but also the water is lukewarm. So it's essentially a medic rinse, like what the LG used to do. That's one feature I missed that machine having, you know, was, was that it was really good for sensitive skin. One way to keep myself busy before I go on to my night shift work this week, so hopefully I can get some videos out during the day. Right, lid on, away we go. So you might see a bit, of, a bit of condensation forming on there. There you are, a bit of condensation here. A spin rinse, way. A bit of agitation.
So again, I lift the basket out. I carry it with the basket down to the bowl. And now the final spin. Kind of like a Mila's or Creda's rhythm spin. First burst, 400 RPM. <laughs> it's just fun doing this. Good exercise for the hands as well. Again, if you can see that tumbling. Might have balance. Six hundred RPM. And this is where we'll go at proper belt of speed. <laughs> Another anti tangle. Yeah, because no one likes creased face masks, do they? So there we are. Distribution. And that's about 800 now. And less now. Right. Another anti tangle. Oh, it's definitely definitely a lot easier to do an anti tangle now. Oh, the lid stays on. There we go. Again, so the light shines on the side. Balance, should we see? That's about a thousand if we can. Way. Okay, I'll have to try and make sure that the last burst is nice and balanced. We do want smooth spinning to ensure we get that up to a good speed. Got a good speed there. Right the way up, so that's about a thousand or eight eight fifty, I'd say. Maybe I'm up to maximum speed. Do a pulse spin. <sighs> oh, God, that took some effort to do that. Yeah, that's quite balanced, actually. That's quite good. I might make more videos doing this, I quite enjoy this. Yeah, it's well stuck to the side. I got the majority, I got pretty much everything out of that. Right, the boring bit, the anti-tangle. However, with the heat coming from this, it's kind of like a, a washer dromia. It is, yeah. Oh, God. It wants to come out, come out, hasn't it? I don't think we need 
need more of an anti-tangle, so I'll just do that. Tumble it out until it just spreads out. Here we go. Beep. Washing is done. Oh, they smell quite nice. And they're a little bit warm, which is nice because obviously the medic rinse. That one's definitely dry. Even though you never actually physically tumble dry the or wash the re, uh, the disposable ones. And maybe what you can do, seeing as I've got a lamp here. To dry them. There we go. That was one, two, three, four, five face masks washed in the salad spinner. Plan to make more videos playing with this thing. Hope you enjoyed that as much as I did. And yes, I'll uh, come back to you maybe with some toy washing machines as well. Thank you very much for watching, and don't forget to keep it supreme and go with the flow.